What's going on YouTube day back again and today we're going to do an unboxing of the ARX7 XL2 Arbalist version 4 with the XL2 booster. That's a lot of words. This comes from Full Metal Panic Invisible Victory and I'm kind of stoked on this. This of course is a Bandai product and this is in 160 scale. Taking a look at the side on here, you get some posing, you get some shots with the weapons, special weapons, the booster pack, display, it does come with its own stand, and some gimmicks. On the other side, you get some artwork over here, and then some front shots and side with and without the booster pack on there. Suggested retail, $47.99. I will provide the link down in the description if you want to check this out. Taking a look, here's the instruction manual. I do really like the artwork. It's mostly because it's different than the standard Gundam uh, artwork on here. If I didn't mention it before, this is a high grade, but there are a ton of parts. With this being a high grade, it comes in the, the fold out manual, which I don't really like. I wish they made them in booklet form, but they don't. So here's what we have to look at. Uh, you have all the parts layout and this has, like I said, a lot of parts for a high grade. You get the start of the chest, you get the head, you get the arms, you get continuation of the arms, uh, attaching, you get legs, right leg, left leg, you get the waist, you get assembly of the whole thing. On the sheet over here, you get how to build the weapons that are on here. You get the instructions for building on the booster pack, how to attach it, how to build the base on here. You get all these little uh, movable parts that are for the, the driver unit, I guess. Uh, I've never built one of these. It just looks really cool. So I'm looking forward to building this up and maybe adding this to my repertoire. Back the instruction booklet, you get information on the unit, on the booster. Uh, just how it ends up going all together, uh, soldier of fortune information, and in your color guide down here. Runner A you get two, and this is going to be in a, what I would consider a soft chocolate brown. Runner B is going to be in a kind of a brownish gray color. Uh, I actually kind of like it. It almost looks like a primer color. Runner C you get two of. These are in that infamous now for the frames, a dark chocolate color uh, for frame pieces. Runner D you get one of, and this is gonna be your weapons. Big knife here. Look how small the hands are versus like the knife. Uh, looks like it has a scabbard for the knife, so that's kind of cool. You get some fist hands, you get some open hands, and Though that they have this listed as a 160 scale, this is probably going to be about the same equivalent as a 1144th Gundam. Runner E you get two of. These are going to be in a gray color. Runner F is going to be in that same gray color. Runner G is going to be in that chocolate color. And this is going to be, it looks like a shotgun type weapon. And more parts for it. Runner H, this is going to be in that lighter chocolate tan color. And these just look to be armor pieces on here. H2 are going to be a couple small pieces. I don't know where those go yet. Runner RB1. This is going to be part for the backpack uh, or booster pack, however you want to end up calling it. A lot of panel lines and stuff on here. A lot of great details. I, I have to give them credit on that. So this is going to be RB1. RB2. This is going to be continuation for the booster pack. Lots of details on here. Looks like a turbine type thing right over here. RB3. You get two of and there you go um these look like fuel pods i'm going to assume that these are fuel pods but i'm not sure until we get there but yeah so you get two of these you get one runner of poly caps acb5 this is going to be parts for the base uh the attachments for the arm and everything and it looks like you have like a clamp type system this is just a generic small base uh, i think it's like like the figma ones last but not least you get a small base part which all the parts go on to all right boys and girls i hope you enjoyed that that was the unboxing of the arx7 xl-2 arbalist version 4 with xl-2 booster stay tuned um i'm gonna end up snapping this up at some point and then we'll come back and i'll show you guys all the little details and everything but i've got a bunch of stuff on my plate so and i'm trying to clear some stuff out uh, stay tuned next video up should be an unboxing of the master grade Stein narrative and Get that off my shelf and uh, then we're gonna work on some resin and do some other stuff So hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did 
hit that like button. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out, YouTube.